Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ambassador Tai. Um, it has now come to that part of the agenda that's called parting words. And I suppose uh, that is what I am here to do. So uh, first of all, I would just like to say that today's speakers, and especially Ambassador Tai, but really all of them, show that we are genuinely at the cusp of a new world, right? And what I heard today was that we have more possibility for different kinds of trade-offs, maybe more win-wins, certainly more wins. I'm all for more wins. Um, but if we are really going to realize the promise of the new industrial strategy, I will say that in deference to the administration, um, or the new industrial policy, which my colleagues at the Roosevelt Institute like to call it. Anyway, if we're really going to realize that, we need to be about new rules. And we also need, most importantly, to be about new people. That means we need everyone on the field, everyone in this room, and a whole lot of people who are not in this room. We need technologists. We need climate engineers. We need storytellers. We might even need a few economic policy experts, and uh, you know who you are. Uh, and we definitely need a whole lot of new democratic small d organizers. The only way we are going to make this new world a reality is if all of us put shoulder to the wheel. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone who came today, who started with breakfast, sat through lunch, and really heard a tremendous number of important people with a tremendous number of critical insights. So thanks to you all. Thanks to the Hewlett Foundation. I know that Larry Kramer is very sorry that he couldn't be here today, but I was glad that Ali and Carrie and Brian from his team were able to join us. Thanks very much to Omidyar Network, Mike Kubzanski, whom you just heard from, and the rest of his team, Audrey, Gretchen, Tracy, who's not here. But those of you who know, know that Tracy is a really important part of this endeavor. Um, those of us who work in the nonprofit sector could not do it without great partners like Hewlett and Omidyar. Um, I'd also like to thank, again, the hotel staff who are <laughs> who are organized through Unite Here Local 25. And I would like to thank my colleagues at the Roosevelt Institute, many of whom are organized through the New York News Guild, Local 31003. And the whole team that pulled together this kind of amazing event on extraordinarily short notice. That I can guarantee you. Um, this was the brainchild of Todd Tucker, who's standing probably <laughs> relievedly in the back. Yeah. Uh, Todd was wise enough to grab a bunch of us. Steph Sterling, Michelle Wolchinski, who's an honorary Roosevelter at this point, um, Marissa Guananha, Juliet Kangstableski, and many, 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 many others to, you know, we're not even, we're not a DC think tank. We're based in New York, and we tried to pull off a DC event on short notice because we knew that it was an important issue that people would want to hear about and talk about together. So thanks to everyone. Uh, I wish you all a beautiful, wonderful rest of this fall day. Um, and here's to industrial policy. Thank you. Thank you.